Hi! In the previous tutorial, I showed how to navigate a multi-level site and how to extract data from product pages. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to extract multiple records from a single page. Here you can see a simple product listing page. The goal is to extract product name, price, and other information from each of these product elements. I'll start by creating a new sitemap. When extracting multiple records from a single page, you need to use an element selector. The element selector will be used to locate wrapper elements of each product, and any child selector of the element selector will extract data from each of these wrapper elements. Let's create the element selector. I'm changing selectors type to element. And I'm selecting wrapper elements of these products. If you have trouble selecting the wrapper element, you can select a common element that these products have, like product name. And then by pressing P key multiple times, you can select the parent element like this. Also, I am checking multiple checkbox, because multiple elements will be found in this page. The element selector is now complete. Now I will add child selectors to the element selector that will extract data within each wrapper element. I'll start by creating a text selector to extract product name. Similarly, I can extract price and description with a text selector. Now I have selectors for everything that I wanted. Using data preview of the element selector, I can see how the data will be extracted. And now I'll run the scraper. And here you can see the scraped data. Now I will show how to extract data from a page with an infinite scroll. Here is a page that loads more products while the page is being scrolled down. To scroll down the page, I will use Element Scroll Down Selector. And to make this tutorial shorter, I will reuse this sitemap. Basically, I will only change the element selector because everything else is the same. I'm changing selectors type to element scroll down. And I am also adding a 500 millisecond delay. The element scroll down selector will initially find all of the product wrapper elements. Then it will scroll down the page. After that, it will wait 500 milliseconds, and then it will check whether new product wrapper elements appeared. It will continue to do this while new elements are appearing. The selector is ready, and I can test it with data preview. And here is the data. 
you would get the same results when running the scraper. Another way how data can be loaded in a page is with a Load More button. Here is a page that has this kind of button. As you can see, the data is being loaded by clicking the same button over and over again. Similarly, to speed up the tutorial, I'm just going to adjust only the element scroll down selector from the previous example. I'm changing selectors type to element click. The selector stays the same, but the click selector is for the load more button. So I'm selecting the Load More button. I'm changing Click Type to Click More. Basically, the selector will click the Load More button until it disappears, or no new elements are appearing. Click Element Uniqueness can stay the same. We are not going to discard initial elements. And I'll keep the 500 millisecond delay, which will be used between two clicks, to wait for the data to load. Now the selector is complete, and I can check it with data preview. As you can see, I have extracted all of the needed data.